Hello, I'm Dave Galligan, and the purpose of this uh, YouTube is to revisit the concepts of passage rate and digestion in the dairy cow. Of course, when a cow consumes feed, it passes through the digestive tract, and we, we measure the speed at which this occurs by a rate called the KP. Now, um, uh, as food is um, uh, consumed by the cow, there's almost a pressure effect in terms of as the dry matter intake of the cow increases, uh, this passage rate is going to uh, increase. Uh, furthermore, when the percent concentrate in the ration uh, increases, um, it's going to increase the passage rate, as well as the, uh, uh, when the effective NDF increases, it'll actually slow down the passage rate. So we have a number of uh, features of the ration itself that influence the flow of feed and thus the flow of digestion um, in, in the cow. So as this um, feed is passing, uh, it's exposed to digestive processes in the various stomachs of the cow. And of course, this, this is called the KD, the rate at which this occurs. And so um, either nutrients are, are digested or they pass. And of course, um, these KDs are attributes of the, um, of the uh, different feeds. So here we're looking at the various carbohydrate fractions. You have silage acids. Uh, uh, sugars, starch, all of which are influenced by um, uh, they're part of the carbohydrate pool and influence the, the, the rate at which digestion will occur. Uh, in a similar manner we also have protein fractions. So we have the soluble uh, non-protein nitrogen uh, all the way down to the uh, acid uh, detergent fiber uh, protein. And of course um, another way to look at this uh, from just a protein perspective is that the cow consumes a certain amount of protein and then of course uh, it either goes and is degraded in the rumen or it bypasses and is called rumen undegradable protein. Uh, to look at this figuratively we have um, a certain type of protein called the C fraction. This is what's bound to the acid detergent fiber that goes of course past the, um, the whole digestive process. And then we have um, a component that's called the A fraction that is almost completely digested in the rumen or degraded in the rumen. Uh, and then we have what are called the B fractions, which are partially. And so we have uh, some of this passing on as rumen undegradable and then other components of it uh, being digested right in the, uh, uh, in the rumen. And we measure these uh, with the KP divided by the KD over KP. In other words, what's the rate of passage over the total rate at which losses occur, which is uh, from digestion or passage. And then similarly for what's digested, it's the KD over uh, the total loss rates uh, of KD plus KP. And so notice how these two fractions sum to one to indicate the entire B fraction. Um, uh, another way to look at this is that the rumen degradable protein consists of the A fraction plus the B fraction that, and the fraction of that uh, B fraction that is divi uh, di digested in the rumen, which would be the KD divided by KD plus, uh, plus KP. The rumen undegradable is composed of the C fraction plus the component of the B fraction, fraction that passes, which would be the KP divided by KD. And so here you see um, how, how the various partitions of the rumen degradable and undegradable um, are, uh, are presented in the dairy cow. Now a way to look at this has been through a, uh, dairy, what we call a dairy dash board and so here you have the KP of the feed and you have the opportunity to select different feeds and so we can see that as we increase the dry matter intake notice how the KP of the feed increases so uh, and here's the the formula uh, for this particular feed, uh, so it's uh, 0.6 times the dry matter intake. If we take another uh, forge, uh, a wet forge, or dried forge, notice that the equation for the KP is still a function of dry matter, but also a function of the percent of the concentrate. And similarly, when we look at a grain, um, it has a similar type of equation, different coefficients. So all of these things influence the, K, um, the KP, if you will. All right. Now, when, um, uh, if we look over here, we're looking at the various protein fractions. And notice um, how the rumen degradable and undegradable are influenced by what we say is the passage rate. So as the passage rate increases, notice 
the rumen uh, degradable protein is going to decrease. Uh, we can also look at the um, uh, uh, the amount of um, of, um, of microbial protein that that is produced um, uh, a, a, as a function of what is the rumen degradable. Um, but uh, you can also look at varying factors in terms of the um, when you change the, the actual feeds, uh, they have different KD values, and look at the impact of uh, a change in the uh, various forage analysis components that then influence the uh, the KD. So, in other words, as I change the um, uh, change the percent effective NDF, we see that this uh, feed passage rate is is uh, influenced. Thank you. Uh, so a, a ration is a combination of feeds, all contributing uh, in a way to influence the uh, passage rate, um, and all contribute um, uh, to the um, uh, uh, the total passage of feeds. So here we're looking at um, a ration program where you can put in uh, different feed amounts: 50% uh, forage concentrate, um, 47 pounds of dry matter, and then we're looking at the actual impact of um, of what is the microbial yield of protein. So as we increase the passage rate, uh, notice that the microbial protein um, uh, is, uh, is actually increasing. Uh, we can look at uh, different feeds and, uh, and uh, what have you. Thank you very much.